Good morning my YouTube family. Welcome to Health is my passion. In this video, how to lose weight fast, my relaxed weight loss journey, I am going to basically take you along with me as I fill you in on how my day's journey is going. Right now, I am feeling great. It's a great morning and I am well rested, guys. Yes, I am well rested. You know, um, whenever... You know, sometimes you get up in the night to like use the restroom or whatever and then you may feel like, oh man, let me check my phone, let me check this, let me check that. And before you know it, you sleep as evaded. So I made every effort, you know, whenever I use the bathroom, you know, throughout the night, I'm like, nope, I'm not going to check my phone, I'm not going to check this, I'm not going to check that. I just need to go straight back to sleep. And that's exactly what I did, and I feel fantastic. I'm sure you can hear the difference in my voice, and you know, do I look more radiant, guys? Do I look more radiant? I'm telling you, sleep does have an effect on how we feel, and it can literally set the tone for how our day, how our day will go. So, guys. I have my meal prepped and I am going to show you guys what I'll be eating for today. I am not going to be eating now, I just have it prepped for the day. So guys, come on, let's go see what I'm going to be eating. Okay guys, so here's my meal for the day. I know um, yesterday I kind of had to have some meatballs, you know, I realized maybe I didn't pack enough food for the day, so today I am make sh making sure that I have enough. Hopefully this will be too much, but I'll see. So I have my carrots, I have my sweet snacking peppers, I have my, my apple, my clementine, and I have my meatballs and my snacking cukes, cucumbers. So guys, this is my meal for the day. I did do very well yesterday, so hopefully today will be a good day. Okay, and I'm also thinking of adding some more fruits uh, to my meal in, in the near future. So, you know, just to mix it up a little bit throughout the day. So I will see you guys later. Hi guys, welcome to Health is My Passion. <sighs> guys, I just saw something that was so disturbing and it, it just it saddens my heart so much, you know? I don't know, comment below, what do you think? Does it seem as though more and more colored persons are being attacked, are being murdered um, by, uh, by, by the police these days or is it just that we're seeing, we're seeing more filming of, of these occurrence because I understand that in the past you know there have been multiple situations where um, people of color have been murdered by the police or, um, or other people who are non-police and it just never made it to the media you know before the increase in in smartphones and recording devices that are able to send um, emergency videos to news stations right away oh my gosh I just saw something on the news a while ago it's so disturbing it's a young young man you know, it looked like he's a teenager. I really didn't even catch the name of the person. And they said the person died because of a chokehold that was used by police. And it was just so disheartening, man. I don't know what's going on with people these days. And I'm not going to say police because I'm not going to even use such a term to describe these people that are carrying out these vicious crimes and are hiding behind badges and not who, are, who have sworn in to protect the general public but they're harming them. They're harming them. Innocent people have lost their lives. Their lives were snatched from them before time. Snatched from them. 
by people who think that they have the authority to do that. No person on the face of the earth has the power to give life to any living being, nor any living thing, but God, only God alone. So for somebody to come and think that they have authority to take the life, whether it be within the court system, whether it be in any way, I know a lot of people that misconstrue the Bible and they're like, oh, an eye for an eye, um, this and that. But a lot of people that focus on the Old Testament, but people, some people fail to focus on the New Testament. The New Testament of the Bible also complements the Old Testament and is a continuation of the Old Testament. They are kind of like, um, I don't really want to use yin and yang. But, you know, if you, people understand yin and yin, you can't have one without the other. And I really don't know much about yin, yin and yang. I, don't, I really don't even wanna, want, want to even think about yin and yang. Yin and yang, whatever it is, the black and white equation thing. So, you know, guys, I'm glad that certain things are being brought to our attention now and knowledge has increased as the Bible stated it will happen in these days. Guys, right now I'm so glad that I rarely have the time to watch the news because I try to watch the news to keep abreast of what's going on in society so that I can see where we are at the point in time. You know, um, the Bible tells us that when we see these things happen in this time, you know, there's a scripture in the Bible that says when you see certain things happening, remain in your house. You know, remain on top of your, climb up to your rooftop and do not go down from your rooftop to even get your cloak from out your house. I believe that that time is so fast approaching. I do not think that the quarantines that so many states and cities I've experienced is a coincidence. I believe that God does allow certain things to happen and I believe that God is ultimately in control at all times. Yes, God gives us choices. God gives each and every person choices to do wrong. You have a choice whether you're going to do wrong or whether you're going to do right. And God makes a way out for us to choose the right. Okay? He always makes a way out to choose the right. Even with Cain in the New Testament in Genesis, God told Cain when Cain was, was jealous of his brother Abel and he was like, oh, you know, Abel's, Abel's, Abel's offering was accepted by God and Cain's, his own wasn't. So Cain had in his heart, a purpose in his heart to really harm his brother. So when God, because God knows our hearts, when God saw what Cain had intended to do, God came and I spoke to Cain. And he said, and I'm not quoting the exact word because I don't have the Bible in front of me right now, but it's in Genesis. He said, Cain, evil's intent is for you. It goes something like this. And it is for you to rule over it. You know, so God had such a relationship with human race at this time. And he said, Cain, it's for you to rule over it. To me, that means that God gives us the power to rule over doing wrong. He gives us choices. He makes a way out. But Cain, in his anger and in his jealousy, he, he, he went and he, you know, he murdered his brother. And so when Jesus looked and said to 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 the people that he were talking to and he said your father was a murderer from the beginning he was referring to Cain's seed to Cain himself to the enemy the devil okay so I'm not saying Cain was the devil but I'm saying Satan himself when he caused Adam and Eve to sin he tried to convince them he convinced them that they won't surely die but what did what did the devil do after Adam and Eve had eaten off the forbidden fruit? They eventually died. It let death, death into the world, okay? Because I believe that it was intentional, intentional for them to have life eternal, okay? To pr pr reproduce, replenish the earth to have life eternal, okay? And God walked with them closely, you know? 
and when they when they ate the forbidden see, uh, the forbidden fruit, then they let sin into the world. They were their eyes were open and they were aware. Oh my gosh, we're, we're naked. Shame came in. Okay, and they're like we're naked, and they they they. What did God do? God made God made coverings for them. Okay, God is such a great God. We serve such a great God. You know, and then this Eve started giving birth, and she had Cain, and she had Abel, and you know, guys, I'm I'm so at loss for word right now. You know, I'm like, uh, oh my gosh, my heart's go out to all you mothers, all you parents, all you families who have lost life, your children, your son, your daughters. You know, because of this, this wickedness that's going on guys we have to make a change and it all starts with each and every one of us looking deep within ourselves look at ourselves you know the, um, it says do unto others as you would have them do unto you would you want someone doing that to your child would you want somebody doing that to you would you want somebody cutting your life short would you want that think about it how can we make the world a better place how can we make the world a better place? How can I make the world a better place today? How can you make the world a better place? What can I do to make changes? I think about myself and I'm like, you know, just one positive thing, one positive word. You know, if, if somebody, for example, I'm walking and somebody accidentally bounces into me. You know, even if it's not my fault, I say, I quickly say, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry, are you okay? Are you okay? You know, um, even though it was their fault, the first thing that automatically comes out of my mouth is, I'm sorry, are you okay? Um, I mean, it can be like something that's automatic for me, you know, but I enjoy it. I enjoy the fact that it, it happens like that so naturally with me. And I, I really encourage myself to remain that way and not to, not to change myself for who I am. I love who I am. I love who God has made me. And I try to change for the better, not for the worse, you know. Um, there are times when you can re reply or react in an angry manner. You know, I try to actively tell myself, you know, um, consciously, you know, um, react in a positive way. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. It doesn't always happen that way. But um, I try to rework myself for the better, you know, for the better, um, the better in my household, in my family, wherever it is, you know, in the world. You know, we're in such a time, right, a critical time, when people, we need to turn to God in all, all aspects of our life. We need to worship, honor, and love the Lord. We need to beg God for forgiveness, because I'm telling you guys, there's life after this. For some people who may think that after you die, you just go to sleep and you never wake up again, I'm telling you, there's life after this. There is a God. There is a God, people. Jesus is real. There is a God. <laughs> Jesus is real and he is Lord and he honestly is coming back. I can't explain until you have experienced it yourself. You really don't know. Until you have experienced the presence of God and feel his love and pre presence enveloping you. And knowing that he's actually there. I could, I could explain it all I want. You actually feel the presence of God and His love enveloping you. You know, and you know, people say, how do you know God is real? You know, I know for a fact because I've experienced it. I've felt His presence. I see God's handiwork in nature. Who, look, at, look, look at a cloud. Like when you look at a piece of artwork that somebody drew, or this watch. Look at this. This watch had a creator, right? Somebody looked at it and they and they God gave them the thought and the imagination and the picture in their head. How to create this fine device? And then if they go and they put their hands together and they create it and you know they draw out the picture and they create. There was a creator to create this watch. And the ultimate creator of all things, the sky, the heaven, the, the trees, us, is God Almighty. God Almighty. And guys, I, I, you know, as you know, my channel, my channel is about the well-being. Health is my passion. Health is my passion. And health entails the spiritual, 
the physical, the emotional aspect of our life. We are body, soul, and spirit. So we have this, just like God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have to, we have to take care of all, of our, all aspects of our well-being. And guys, when you hear me talk about the Word, it's not just because of my faith. It's because of my faith, too, in God. But it's because it is, it's so necessary. It's so necessary in these times, guys, if you want to really have true peace. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Find yourself in the Bible. Find, find yourself in the Bible. Find the truth in the Bible about who you are. Each and every person is destined for greatness in the face of this earth. We rule over the devil. The devil is below us. Okay? He is below us. I, I don't see a human being being above the devil, worship the devil, when the devil is below you. The devil wants all, want every single human being to end up in the pit of hell. The devil wants each and every one of us to end up in the pit of hell, where there's, where there's worms crawling out your nose and crawling all over and fire burn, unquenching. Fire is just burning, burning, burning you all day. You're in agony and pain, tormented day and night. No sleep, no rest, just pain galore. Guys, imagine that. You guys really want that? Hell ain't no party place. It's not a place where you go and party from morning till night and it's not to... It's agony and pain, not galore, okay? So we have a choice to make. We can either choose to serve the Lord God Most High go to heaven when he comes back and get us because he's coming back or if God if God says time for any anyone to go and you know you make yourself right with Jesus you know where could you go wrong choosing the right choice to serve the Lord God you know I know some people might be like oh I don't know you know read the Bible compare words you know yeah, I know a lot of people read books, but the most important book on the face of the earth that I feel is the Bible. Is the Bible. It's the Word of God because, you know, it teaches us how to live. It teaches us life. It teaches us people's experiences from the past or ancestors, how to live and what happened to them and how they overcame issues. You know, and what they go through. The Bible doesn't hide anything. It doesn't sugarcoat anything. It doesn't... It shows people mistakes so that we don't have to fall into the same mistakes as they did, you know? Um, Jesus was a great teacher. He was a great prophet. He was a great everything. And he's Lord, Savior and Lord, the Son of God. And guys, you know, read your Bible, man. It's so important. It gives you peace. The Bible gives me peace within. It gives me wisdom. It 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 helps me overcome certain obstacles that I would not be able to overcome otherwise. And it gives me peace when I'm troubled, you know. It, it helps me to sleep. It helps me to know what to ask God for, how to pray, how to trust, how to not lean upon any single human being for anything but to give God the glory and praise and to know that everything comes from Him. All my blessings is from Him. So if God used somebody to bless me, I thank that person, but I'm ultimately thanking God for them and about them because I know that God is the one who blessed that person with what they have to bless me. And, you know, so ultimately the praises go on to God. You know, another thing I want to point out, guys, you know, we shouldn't complain. We should, And this is one thing I'm working on myself you know not to complain against anybody not to complain when somebody do something bad to me because we already have a complainer going to heaven the devil satan himself who goes day and night complain about the the virgins complaining about us on earth to god each day and night okay so you know he's complaining enough and then there's the, the virgins going to god in prayer and in other ways you know maybe not in prayer but they're like you know, whatever complaint you made, it goes up to God, and God hears it. And, you know, from what I've read in the Old Testament, the story of Moses and other areas in the Bible, you know, it angers God, because what God said to Moses, these people were complaining, they were complaining against you while they were going through the 40, the 40 years in the wilderness. Um, Jesus, God said, 
is not complete they're not complaining against you they're complaining against me and the anger gone and anger gone you know that many of them died there in the wilderness you know so guys um you know i just want to let you know about my diet as well about my weight loss journey as well you know today has been a fantastic day guys and as you can see i basically ate all my food today except with the two carrots i felt so full right now i'm finishing up my apple i ate my clementine and everything right now i had a hot dog which i'm gonna finish up because i like hot dog it's so delicious i had a pepper to it pepper sauce so I'm going to finish that up and I drank my, I've been drinking water through the day. I drank, where's my water bottle? I left it. So I drank like two bottles of my, my blue water bottle. And so that's about two bottles of that plus what I've drank is well over half a gallon of liquid for the day. And there's no sugar in anything that I've been drinking. This is my sparkling black raspberry. What's this? carbonated flavored water it tastes so good guys it tastes so good i like it i like it um so guys with that said today has been an awesome day i feel fabulous um i'm not hungry right now as you can see i didn't finish all my food i had it the hot dog to it and i'm gonna eat it and this is how to lose weight fast do comment you know watch a video in its entirety and comment what what do you think what do you think about today's society and what's going on what do you think what do you feel is happening and why do you think it's happening and what do you think we can do to to remedy the situation you know i believe we need to pray a lot more to god to ask him to forgive us of our sin because there's been way too much bloodshed and so much sin in happening in the world you know um you know as the bible said people's blood cries out to, to him from the hurt, you know. Um, Cain's blood cried out, Abel's blood cried out to God from the earth that swallowed Abel's blood, you know. So, you know, I know a lot of people's blood are, are crying out right now to God <clears throat> whose blood was shed, you know. And um, guys, guys, you see, if you're, if you, whenever we sin, do not think for a second that there will not be repercussions. There will be rep repercussions within this world while we're still alive. And then there will be repercussions after in the life after, guys. So, guys, with that said, I want to say thank you for joining me here on Health is My Passion. Do make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell button to be notified whenever I release new videos.